Hi yogis and welcome to class. I am Emily. Today's focus is the crown chakra, the Sahasrara chakra. And this chakra is located at the top of our head and it's connected to a, a higher consciousness and to the experience of everything being one, everything being united. The color for this chakra is purple and today we'll be working up towards a headstand, the Sirsasana. Let's get started by sitting back towards our heels. Let your hands rest on your thighs and close down your eyes. Take a moment to let go of everything that has been your day up till this moment. And take a moment to feel into your breath. Observe every movement that your breath creates in your body. Every sound that your breath creates in your body. And just be completely present with your breath. And your breath's presence in your body. Let your inhales travel from your sitting bones to the top of your head. Let your exhales lower your shoulder blades down the back. Lift your navel up towards your spine lifting your pelvic floor. Next inhale, open your eyes. Sweep your arms up with an inhale, gaze up and see your palms touch. Really stretch tall. Exhale, let your left, rather right hand rather, lower down in between your shoulder blades and let your left hand sweep around, palm facing away from the body, so and see if you can find any little connection behind your back. If it's impossible, see if you can grab hold of your top or whatever you're wearing. Lift your right arm just a bit higher up, your elbow higher up towards the ceiling and gently press your right upper arm in towards your skull. Lower your left shoulder down. With your next inhale, release your hands, sweep up, gaze up, palms touch. And exhale, lower the left palm in between the shoulder blades and sweep your right arm around, palm face away from the body. See if you can find maybe a fingertip to hold on to. Inhale for length along your spine and gently press your left arm in towards your head, lifting your left elbow. Letting your right shoulder drop down. Breathing in space into your shoulders. Inhale to release. Sweep your arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. From here, just come to all fours. Wiggle out your ankles if they are a bit sore from sitting on top of them. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Make sure that your fingers are spreading wide and maybe your index pointing straight forward. Your knees are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, drop your belly down to the floor. Lift your sitting bones to the back. Draw your shoulder blades together and really bring your chest in between your shoulders and exhale for cow pose. Press the mat away, gaze towards your navel and round your spine. Inhale to cow and exhale to cat. See if you can make them just a little bit bigger each time, finding more expansion as you move. Really working into your spine. Inhale and exhale, rounding in. Press them out away. Once more, inhale and exhale. Inhale and find a neutral spine. 
and find stability through your palms. With your next inhale, sweep your right arm up towards the ceiling, gaze up towards your right hand. Inhale, really open the chest to the right. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm slides under, lowering your right shoulder down, your right temple. Maybe placing your left fingertips on the outside of the mat. Maybe sweeping your left arm up towards the ceiling. To see that your hips keep in line, keep them square. Inhale, really stretch through your left fingertips. Exhale, place your left palm on the mat. Come all the way up, back up to all fours. And inhale, sweep your left arm up, gaze up. Really find the rotation from your core. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm slides under, lower the left shoulder and the left temple. Adjust your hips. Inhale, maybe sweeping your right arm up. Opening the chest, really find length through your right arm. Core is active, inhale. Exhale, placing your right palm back down. Come back to all fours. Tuck your toes and sit back towards your heels. From here, sweep your hands back, or your arms back rather, and grab hold of your feet from the outside. You can even just make sure that the pinky toe is into the tuck. From here, I want you to go and aim your, the top of your head to the mat. So this is not your forehead. This is really the top of the head to the mat. And from here, lift your spine towards the ceiling. Gaze towards your navel. Press out through the soles of your feet. Engage your lower core. Stay here for a couple of more breaths in a rabbit pose. One more inhale. Exhale to let go. Bring your hands to the floor, to the mat rather. Bring yourself all the way back up. Climb your hands forward. Inhale, engage your core. Make sure your toes are tucked and exhale, lift your hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. Bend into one knee at a time. Just make sure to work out any kinks you have in your body. This is your first downward facing dog. Maybe for today, sway your hips from side to side. Maybe you want to do some, some back circles. Just work intuitively. This is a, an opportunity to really feel into your body, feel whatever it might need and wherever it needs attention right now. And eventually find stillness in downward facing dog. Press the mat away through your palms, through your fingertips. Make sure to aim for a beautiful line between your hands and your hips. Find width between your shoulder blades and find width between your uh, collarbones. Engage your lower core, gaze towards your knees and inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip, then keep your right shoulder down. Inhale, lift the knee even higher, press firmly down through your left foot. Exhale, draw your right knee in towards your right armpit. Bring your weight forward into your hands. And from here, make, imagine you're drawing a happy mouth down towards the mat and up towards your left armpit. Knee goes down, up to the right armpit, down and to left, down, right, down and left. Last one, down, right, this time down and up in the middle. Stay for the inhale, create space, gaze in between your feet and exhale, lower your right foot down, in between your hands, come to fingertips, lower the hips down, lift your gaze, Lift your chest in between your shoulders, lower the hips even more. Exhale, straighten into your right leg, folding forward, modified pyramid. Inhale, sink it down. Exhale, fold. Two more like that. Inhale, sink it down, but press firmly down through your feet to keep engagement, not just hanging in your hips. Exhale, folding down. Last one. Inhale, stay. Press into your right foot. Sweep your arms back, palms facing down. 
gaze forward and spring into your warrior three or a few steps whatever is in your practice flex your left foot and press firmly out through the sole of your left foot draw your shoulder blades down engage your core inhale exhale one more inhale and one more exhale press firmly down through your right foot next inhale brings your left knee forward up towards the chest arms sweep up exhale hands in front of your heart we're going to set it up for a tree pose so place your left foot either towards your right thigh or one toe to the mat or left foot to your left calf or right calf sorry <laughs> or to the thigh if your foot is to the thigh press firmly through your right thigh is pressing towards your left foot your left foot is pressing in towards your right thigh hip pressing forward lifting the chest engaging your core and pressing down through your right foot let your palms meet in front of your heart find focus next inhale releases your left foot from your right thigh and exhale sweeping it back back to your warrior three hands in front of your heart Ooh, find stability inhale exhale next inhale create even more length from your the sole of your foot into the top of your head and exhale bend slowly into your right knee and carefully land your left toes behind you sweep your arms up palms still touching gaze can follow exhale sinking deep down finding stability through your feet inhale exhale inhale release your hands exhale left arm forward right arm back to a twist lift your chest with an inhale exhale sinking deeper down but uh, keeping the stability through your core inhale exhale and one more inhale and exhale release your left palm next to your right foot and let your right hand sweep up towards the ceiling gazing up with your left thigh lowering your hip down and pressing out through the heel of your left foot inhale exhale next inhale open your chest even a little bit more wider out and exhale all fingers to the mat leaning into your right foot spring to the top into standing split lifting your left foot high you can go for either an open hip or a closed hip uh, but remember to engage your toes spread your toes if handstand is in your practice feel free to take a couple of hops here see maybe you want to do some handstand hops see if you want, can stay in a handstand or you just stay in your standing split if you are in a handstand come back down inhale lift halfway up exhale lower your left foot next to your right press firmly down through your feet engage your core inhale halfway lift arms along the sides of your body palms facing down exhale folding forward letting the crown of your head drop towards the mat lean into your toes press firmly down through your feet and lift your sitting bones up towards the back of the room inhale lift your right the sole of your right foot off the mat and place it from behind next to your left so you're crossing your legs inhale lift halfway and exhale fold two breaths here inhaling into your left foot release your right foot put it back where it came from and then into your right cross your left foot behind let it land be just next to your right foot inhale halfway lift exhale fold lean into your toes just a little bit more 
Just notice any new sensation that you feel. Inhale, halfway lift. Release your left foot next to your right. And make sure you have enough space in front of you to lower your hips, or your knees rather, down to the mats. Engage your core. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, sink back towards your heels and release your knees up off the mat, palms touching, hands in front of your heart. Three more like that, inhale up, exhale, come back, hands in front of your heart. Use your lower core, this is where the stability comes from, and come back. Once more, inhale, hands in front of your heart, sit back, great work. Lean into your knees, and we're gonna go for our first Shirasasana headstand. If you're new to Shirasasana, you can place your mat by the wall, of course. But we're going to go for the traditional headstand where you have your entire forearms in touch with the mat. You clasp your hands and you place your hands at the back of your head so that the top of your head can be to the mat. You can also turn your, the tight, the, sometimes you get pain because the pinky, the lowest pinky to, finger is getting squeezed so you can turn that in inside your palms to make it a little bit more comfortable for the fingers also most important of all basically is to make sure that you have a triangle that can so you can stand on and you cannot keep your elbows out to the side because then you will be in one line and you will never find balance so set it up Find your triangle, place the top of your head just so you can get touch with your, your palms and the back of your head. Come lift your knees up off the mat and climb your feet as close to your head as you can because you want to get your hips just over your shoulders. From here you can either just stay here or you can release one foot off the mat and maybe pressing into your forearms, releasing your other foot off the mat. Engage your core deeply and keep the pressure through your forearms and keep your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe you stay as a tiny little ball, keeping your point of gravity low, or maybe you stretch your legs out into Shirsasana. Keep your feet and your legs super active. Keep your core super active and your shoulders constantly pressing down. And to get back, you can curl back into the little ball. Try to go down with grace. Lower your knees. Plant your palms. If you get dizzy, just stay for a second and then make your way up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come high up onto your toes, roll forward like a big wave, gaze towards your navel, and exhale, gliding it back, downward facing dog. Two more, inhale, glide it forward, exhale, gliding it back. Last one, this time only glide forward, stay in high plank, Bring the weight forward, exhale, lower, halfway down, and untuck your toes, upward facing dog, inhale, and exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Stay here for one more breath. Next inhale, sweep your left leg up, and bend the knee, open the hip, lift your left knee up towards the ceiling, keep your left shoulder pressing down, squaring your shoulders. Exhale, draw your left knee in towards your left eye armpit. Come high up onto your right toes. Drop the left knee down and over to your right armpit. Down to the left, down and right. Use your core, press the mat away. Down, left, down, right. This time down into center, stay for the inhale, 
press the mat away, gaze in between your hands, exhale, release your left foot down, fingertips to the mat, lower your hips, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, modified pyramid, bend over your left leg, inhale, to drop down and exhale, folding over your left leg. Inhale, find engagement between your feet, not just hanging in your hip, exhale to fold. Last one, inhale, exhale. Bend into your left leg once more, engage your core, arms come back, palms facing down, spring to your warrior three position. Flexing the right foot, pressing firmly out through the sole of the right foot. Draw your hands down towards the right foot. Squeeze your core. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale brings your left, sorry, right knee in towards the chest. Arms sweep up. Setting it up for tree pose once again. Sole of your right foot towards your left thigh. Palms facing, hands in front of your heart. Wiggle it out. The more you wiggle, the more you're trying. Pressing your hips forward, lowering your shoulders down. Pressing down through the sole of your left foot. Engaging your left leg by pressing back towards your right foot. Next inhale, releases your right foot from your left thigh and pressing it back towards warrior three position. Flexing the right foot, toes pointing down, engage your core, inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Next exhale, bend into your left knee and slowly lower your right toes to the back of the mat, sweeping your arms up, palms are still facing, exhale. Sinking deep, lowering your shoulders. Inhale, release your hands. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, sinking even deeper. One more inhale, press down now through the right foot. Exhale, right palm to the mat. Left arm sweeps up. Sink your hips down, gentle twist, gaze towards your left hand. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale. Open your chest even more, dropping your right, sorry, left hand towards the back of the room. Exhale, all fingers to the mat, spring into your left leg, lifting your right leg high, standing split. Maybe grabbing hold of your left ankle with your left hand, dropping the crown of the head to the mat. Or if you went for the handstand on the other side, you can see if you want to take a couple of hops, maybe find your handstand again. And if you do, then eventually come back down to your standing split, fingertips to the mat, inhale, halfway lift and exhale. Softly plant your right foot next to the left. Big toes to touch, little space between the heels. Press down through your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, arms along the side of the body. Exhale to fold. Lean just a little tiny bit more into your toes. Lift your sitting bones just a tiny bit higher. And now lean into your right foot, bringing your left foot behind and over next to the right, crossing your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, bring it back, switch out the legs, lift the right one, crossing it from behind next to your left foot. Lifting halfway with an inhale, exhale, just dropping it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your right foot next to your left, 
Make sure you have the space in front of you to drop your knees down. Engage your core, sweep your arms up, gaze up, exhale, hands in front of your heart. Sit back, find stability on your toe stand. Inhale, sweep up, exhale, hands in front of the heart, shoulder blades low, inhale, two more, exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Dropping your knees down, final round on in Shirasasana. Setting it up straight away. Now you know where we're going. Finding your triangle pose. Placing it down. Make sure that it's the top of your head, not your forehead, not the back, but the top. Where you would place a book if you were to balance it while walking around. Place your head and then lift your hips up. Step your feet in as far as they go. Press down through your forearms. Lifting one leg up, try to point your toes towards your butt, and then maybe lifting the other leg up. Maybe stay in that little, tiny little ball, finding your balance there, or straightening your legs. Of course, you can bring your mat to a wall to do this. Feel free to do any type of modification you feel like. And then just softly bring it all the way down as gracefully as you can. Lowering your knees, planting your palms and stepping back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come high up onto your toes and wave forward all the way to high plank. Exhale, like a big wave, gliding it back, downward facing dog. Two more, inhale, gliding it forward. And exhale, all the way back. Last one, forward. Exhale, back. Once more, gliding it forward. And exhale, lowering your knees down at the exact same time. Sitting back towards your heels. And then bringing your legs in front of you, setting up for a full Gomakasana. So bring your right leg around your body and then bring your left leg on top of the right. Make sure that you have your sitting bones in touch with the mat. If this is Far too much, you can take any modification that feels good for you. But just make sure that you have, you feel something in your hips, no matter in which, where you are in this position. Maybe you bring your feet further back, or for more sensation, you can wiggle them forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dropping your left hand in between your shoulders, sweep your right arm back. Lift your gaze. Maybe you find a little bit of connection, some fingertip or grab hold of your clothes. Press your left arm firmly into your skull, lowering your shoulders down. Release with an inhale. Shaking it out, release your legs, shaking them out. And now bring your left leg around your body and your right leg on top. Setting it up once more for Gumakasana, aiming for the knees to be in one line. Maybe climbing your feet forward, but make sure that your sitting bones are still connected to the mats. Arms up, or actually your right arm up, right hand drops in between the shoulders. Left arm sweeps around. Lifting your right elbow towards the ceiling, pressing it firmly into the skull. Engage your core. Inhale to release. 
shake it out, exhale, release your legs, shake them out, and just come and place the soles of your feet to the mat, inhale, sweep your arms up, engage your core, and exhale, slowly round your spine, rolling with control all the way down, keep squeezing the core when you just want to release, when you just want to drop down, squeeze even harder. And release everything down to the mat. Your feet mat width apart, arms resting alongside your body with your palms facing up. Close down your eyes. Take one deep breath, deep breath in through your nose and release it out through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Side out. Two more. Inhale. Side out, exhale. Last one. Exhale. Great work. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you please. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you soon again. Namaste.